What's up YouTube? Justin here along with Wiretex and welcome to part 2 of this video series. In this video I will show you how to make free inbound and outbound phone calls on your iOS device. So that's all iPod touches, iPhones and iPads that run the newest I iOS 4.0 software. Now your device also must support multitasking. So if you have an iPod touch second generation and it doesn't support multitasking, you won't be able to receive phone calls. When it comes down to it, you'll also need a device that either has a microphone attached to it or supports the 3.5 millimeter jacks for Apple stereo headphones that have a microphone on the headphones itself. So those are the requirements, 4.0 software update with multitasking and a microphone on the device, and that's all you need. So here's how you make free inbound and outbound phone calls on your iOS device. So the first thing you need to do is open up the App Store or your iOS device and search for the app called Whistle Phone. Once you've installed it and launched the app, it should look like this. It asks you, how would you like to configure Whistle? If you've already created an existing account from part one, just click the existing account button. But if this is your first time watching this video on part two, click create a new account. I'm going to select the option that I already have an account. It's going to ask me to type in my Whistle phone number, so I do that. Once I finish, I click Save. After I've clicked Finish, it's going to pop up saying Whistle would like to send push notifications. I allow that so I can receive phone calls. Then I type in my password that I set up on the computer. And then I've completely finished my setup for Whistle. Next, I need to download the app Google Voice. If for whatever reason Google Voice or Whistlephone does not accept your password, every time you try to put it in, just try resetting it and it should work perfectly the next time. So if you didn't set up a Google Voice account in part one of this video series, this part can be a little more complicated. So listen up. If you already have a Gmail account or a Google account, all you need to do is just log in at voice.google.com and activate your Google Voice account. But if you have or don't have a Google account or anything related to Google, then you need to set one up like I just did. Once that's set up, activated, and then you get this screen from voice.google.com. If you really want to know how to do this, you can check out part one. But the most important thing is the call forwarding, which I'll skip to. So step four that you get here, or actually step three out of four, says add a forwarding phone. This forwarding phone needs to be your whistle phone. Now, if I didn't make this clear before, you need to be on your computer when you do this. You can do it on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, but it's a little more confusing when you do that. Once you add your whistle phone number to your Google Voice, this forwarding call thing, it's going to call your whistle phone number like it just did, and you need to activate it using the security code that it gives you. Once that's done, you have verified your phone and you're good to go. And that's the most important part. However, there is one more step to this. Actually, two more, to be honest, which are both important. So once everything is done, you'll get this congratulations screen. Then you'll need to click settings, voice settings. And then you'll need to click the tab calls, not the tab voicemail and text like I just did, the tab calls. You'll need to turn call screening off, confirm it, then click Save Changes. Once that's done, you've really completed everything you need to do with Google Voice. But there's one more thing. You need to actually set up Follow Me. This is actually a service of Whistlephone. In order to do that, um, I'll take you to the Whistlephone app now. Now that we're at the Whistlephone app, you'll need to click the Information button, which is the I in the top right corner. Once that's done, it'll pop up with a screen looking like this. You'll need to make sure you're on the account tab, type in your password, and go to my account. Then you'll click the My Follow Me button, and it's going to load here. And once it finishes to load, it's going to say Add a new number. It's not going to show Google Voice. Once you click Add a new number, you'll label it as Google Voice and type in your Google Voice number. Once we're done typing in our phone number, we'll click or our Google Voice phone number, we'll click Add Number. Once that's done, we'll exit the application and launch the Google Voice app so we can manage our texting, our call logs, and so here's the Google Voice app. You'll need to sign in. 
first. Once we're signed in, we'll select our home phone number, which is our whistle phone number. Then you'll need to press the OK button, allowing Google Voice to send push notifications for text messages and missed calls. After that's done, you'll click the Settings tab and turn on Use Click to Call. Once you flick the switch for click to call on, you've successfully activated your free phone calling inbound and outbound on your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad. When it comes down to it, all you have to do now if you want to make a phone call is make sure Whistle Phone is running in the background for VoIP services and launch your Google Voice app and click the dialer, dial out. And it's going to basically call your whistle phone number. A push notification is going to pop up. You're going to answer it. And after you answer it, it's going to ring the person you're calling. If anybody calls your Google Voice number, it's going to put pop up a push notification for whistle phone. You can answer it and talk to them. If you need to send a text message, all you have to do is just go into Google Voice and address a new person. And it's that simple. So make sure you give out your Google Voice number and not your whistle phone number. Because if you give out your whistle phone number, they'll have to text message you on your Google Voice number and call you on your whistle phone number. You'll have two different phone numbers and it'll be totally confusing. So that's what I want to point out. Give out your Google Voice number and it actually gives you more features with your Google Voice number because you actually can block people and... Um, not only can you block them, but you can give them personalized greetings. It gives you a call log of who calls you. And that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me, Justin Harris at wiredtech.info. Twitter is my uh, is twitter.com slash wiredtech. And uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you want to check out the demo of how this works, that's probably part four. Part three is probably the demo of how uh, it works on the computer. So that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys later. Peace.